Hi guys, so this right here is the Ibosad Hydraulic Copper Press Tool Kit from Amazon. So this is the press tool itself. It costs about $100 and quality feels about right for that price point. It's all metal with some plastic parts and a rubber grip. It's actually kind of stiffish, but it's comfortable enough. And these parts are all forged steel, so definitely looks to be pretty good quality. This thing opens pretty smoothly and here are the jaws. You've got these little half moon shaped jaws that crimp the copper pipe. This set comes with half inch, three quarter inch and one inch jaws. They just pop out and push in like that. The press head itself rotates. So if you're in a tighter space, you can rotate it, but you still have to be able to get this on the pipe. So this won't work in really tight spots, but it still works well enough. I bought this thing to help my dad replace his water heater. So I needed to crimp on a few fittings and this works great. So now let's try it out. I've got here a piece of copper pipe and a press coupling. So you just push it in. Obviously the pipe needs to be clean, but you don't need to use a wire brush the way you do with soldering. And now to actually crimp a fitting on, you just loosen that push this around the pipe and then you can start um, tightening down the tool. Make sure that the jaws are properly centered while you're doing it though. You don't want them to slip off and it takes many pumps to get the thing on. And for these manual press tools, you just have to keep pumping until you see the two parts of the jaw touch. And then once the crimp is done, you just loosen the release knob. Pop this thing off and the pressed joint is complete. This thing can get a bit stuck, but here's the pressed joint. And as you can see, it has been crimped on pretty tightly. No way that's going to leak. Now let's crimp the other side. You just tighten the loosening knob. That loosening knob basically retracts the tool by releasing the hydraulic pressure and now we can crimp again. And there is the crimped joint. Now let's see how much force it takes to break it. I'm just curious. So here I have the pressed joint clamped up in a bench vise. And I have here a pair of channel locks. I'm going to see if I can bust the joint apart. And I am able to get the copper to twist inside the press coupling, but taking this and shaking it around, I don't think it's actually coming apart. So I would say the joints made by this are just as strong as the real electric pro press, but this machine here is $100, this thing. Whereas an electric one like the Milwaukee or Rigid will cost you 2000. So I'd say for occasional homeowner or DIY use, this press tool is perfect and it will come in handy for a lot of things. I mean, soldering is hard, it's dangerous. This thing just press and you're done. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you all next time.